because you can get to it, and then you just ride it on down the hill. If you want to talk about just throwing hard, all right? So when we do these drills, we're trying, I, what I'm trying to do is I, I believe there's three balance positions. The first one is your hands and your foot, they work together over the rubber, and so you're going to try to get some tilt as fast as you can early. Then you're going to ride it down the hill. The, the second balance point is how you make an L with the front leg. If y'all watch Kershaw, uh, I think two years or three years ago, I did a, well, two years ago, I did the ESPN deal. You know, this last past summer, I did the ESPN deal. They go, why did you teach Kershaw to make him so good in his delivery? I didn't have, like I told you, I'm not the best pitching coach, and I'll have magic dust on you. I gave him a structure plan, just like what we do every day. These drills, we do them every day. We do them religiously. We, because I want these guys to repeat their delivery and their mechanics, just like going to driving range for pro golfers. No different for a, for a pitcher. You have, to, you have to practice. No different for a hitter. Whatever you feel in that swing, you've got to get to it as fast as you can. If you have to do lead in, top in, if you have to do some kind of drill that's going to help you, just get to it. Just feel it for one minute. And these drills are drills that, that I think that the University of Texas is what we do. The first one's on two knees. The second one is on one knee right here. And what you're going to try to do is you're going to try to go from you're going to try to go from high to low and get out over your front side as much as you can. You're going to try to go high to low, get over your front side as much as you can. This little this little move right here is real beneficial to you. What it does is you see everybody see the drag car running down a running down a, a, in a drag race a quarter mile. What happens at the end after it goes running 190 miles an hour? What happens? Parachute comes out. Why? It slows it down. So this little area right in here, the third balance point, it slows you down. It slows all your velocity down. You want to throw, you talk about leverage hitting against your front side, you want to throw down through your front side. You see guys in the big leagues. I, I mean, there's guys, it doesn't matter how tall you are, how big you are, how strong you are. It might, it, what it matters is getting the ball to a leverage point. And when, you're, and when you're working downhill, you'll see guys, there's guys in the big leagues that throw it and their arms going forward and their body weight's going like that. Well, which one's stronger, your arm or your body weight? So which one's going to get first? Your arm. So what we talk a lot about is we want to try to be as efficient as we can. Simplify and be sufficient to feel what your body's doing. This next drill that we do is what I call a kickover drill, is you, you can sit right here, and we do drive drills all the time. You pick your right foot up, I'm right-handed, and you just turn your hips. If, I'm left, if I was left-handed, I'd just pick up here, and I'd turn my hips. Like if I was facing Drew, I'd step and go knee to knee. Well, that looks like a delivery, doesn't it? Right? And that's a balance point. My third balance point is what teaches me command. I'm working everything right down through the tunnel. You want to work everything through the tunnel. One of the pet peeves of mine is I see a lot of guys throwing on the, on the third base side. Do you want to hit a ball that's coming in at you, or do you want to hit a ball that looks like it's coming at you, but it's crossing over, and it's, going, it's, it's creating two different angles down and away? You want to get to two different angles. Because the eyesight's, I mean, you can't pick it up as fast. If you got a guy that's a big sink or a low elbow guy, then we can move the guy over and cut more side of the plate up. All right? And so the next drill, the kickover drill, is we'll throw, we'll get to our balance point, we'll get uphill, throw, and we'll, it's two, it's two uh, sessions. It's two different movements. You keep your arm next to your left leg, then you go knee to knee. All right? All right, that's the, that's the third drill. The, the fourth drill is what you're going to do is you're going to work. We talk about hips, we talk about backside. What you're going to work on is just explode your hips. That's it. You're going to try to get there and explode it. Try to get it out front. Make sure you get the ball out front. Make sure you're trying to shorten the distance up as much as you can from home plate, from the mat, from the rubber to home plate, as, much, as fast as you can. So all you're going to work on is your hip explosions. You can, add, you can add a little step, but you want to get uphill and explode down. If I really exploded my hips, I feel like I can knock him right down through the uh, back cage. All right? 
That's your, that's your uh, fourth one. Your fifth one is you add a kickover. You do the same thing, and you add a kickover to the third balance point. All right, then the next one is your rhythm. You have to have rhythm. Like when you hit some of you guys, I watched you, some of you didn't have as much rhythm as others, and that's, that's all right, as long as you get the barrel there. But you want to try to have some rhythm in your delivery. All right, so you'll see your hands and your front foot, they work together in a delivery. It might work a little bit different. It might work, it might be a little bit different, a little bit deeper. It might swing your front side off, front side open. <clears throat> If you're deep in the back, behind your behind your back, then you can swing. Because what you want to do is that front foot's going to travel the same distance the time your hand gets to that power position. All right. What I like is a half rotation delivery, but I'll recruit. It doesn't matter if it's if it's crazy looking, if it's funky looking. I kind of like. It. I mean, I want a guy just to get the ball to the front side, but more more so than anything, I want them as competitive as they can be. Well. This drill is a one, two, three drill. It's a rhythm drill. What you're working is your hands, your front foot. One, two, three. Straight up, straight down, down the hill. Well, what I was talking about with Kershaw is they go, would you make him stop? He kind of did, did it literally. He would just stop. And so what you're doing as a hitter, you're loading. He, he's taking off. He, as soon as you see that, you're like, oh, man, I'm fixing to hit this guy. I'm trying to slow the ball down so I can gather information with the ball. I'm, I'm loading when he's loading. And all, all of a sudden, what makes Kershaw really good, besides he does have command and he's not scared of it, he stops right there for a moment and then gets back uphill. And that, all of a sudden, they're like this. They're, oh, then they got to restart it again. And he kind of messes them up a little bit. And that, that, that helps his deception. All right, that's the mechanical side of it. We'll have some guys over there that'll help you do some of the, some of the drills and whatnot if you want to do them. That's up to you.